Today on The Joy of Editing, I want to show you an exciting new tool that will be coming to Photoshop hopefully soon, and that is the new Remove tool. Right now, it's only found in Photoshop Beta. I'll demonstrate it for you today and also give you some tips on how to use it to get the full advantage out of it. Plus, if you want to try this tool out for yourself, I'll show you how you can download Photoshop Beta. My name is Dave Kelly, and this is the joy of editing. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Today, I do want to show you that new remove tool that just came out in Photoshop beta. A couple of weeks ago, I was talking to Tony Kuiper, and he said, Hey, Dave, do you know about the new remove tool in Photoshop beta? And I said, no. And he told me about it and he said, you need to check it out and you should do a video on it. And I thought, you know what? I think you're right. Well, I went ahead and made the video and you're watching it right now. We already have a lot of very good tools inside of Photoshop to remove objects, but this one's kind of special and unique. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is working with the Creative Cloud. I believe the results are sent up to the Creative Cloud. Now, don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure it is because it does a pretty remarkable job. But there are a few tips and tricks I'm going to show you in this video to make it work even better. Now, stay tuned and watch this entire video because at the end, I'll show you how to get Photoshop beta if you don't already have it. All right, let's get started. Now, you're going to find the remove tool in your tool well, and I'm hovering over it, and you can see a little illustration of what it does. So this gives you a little taste of what you can expect here. So we're going to try that out, but let's just click on this tool right here. And by the way, the shortcut for that is J. Now, the shortcut for the spot healing tool is J. Any of the tools that are found inside of this group have the shortcut of J, but the last one you used is the one that will come up when you type J as a shortcut. And the last one I used was the removal tool. So remember, J, if that's the last tool you use, that's the tool that will come up. The first thing I do want to point out, however, is up here in the menu bar, you see where it says remove after each stroke. If you have this checked on and say, for instance, I go ahead and paint over this bell of hay right here, or I think two bells of hay, and we'll watch and see, it'll go ahead and remove it. Now it takes a little bit of time because I do believe it goes up to the creative cloud, but you see that does a really good job. There's just a tiny little area here. I can just paint over that and remove that just like that. But if you have this unchecked, let me go ahead and undo a couple times. I'm just going to do a command or control Z a couple times. If you have this unchecked, then you could go here and paint. So I could paint around here like this. And if I quit painting, it doesn't do anything, right? So then I can continue painting. And so what if I want to get a bunch of things out at once? Like say I want to get rid of this bell of hay and this piece of grass over here like this and then if i click on the check it'll get rid of both of those objects at one time and it's done a really good job now this looks a little funky here so watch i can just paint right over this area like this maybe get rid of this piece of grass and right here as well maybe this piece of grass over here and then go ahead and click on the check or you could type your return key or your enter key and it'll go ahead and process and just like that, that is gone. I went ahead and reset the image and brought everything back. So let's work on this umbrella up here and this umbrella handle. Let's see what we can do here. Let me go ahead and remove after each stroke. Let me check that back on. And now I'm gonna make my brush a little smaller and let's see how I can do on this umbrella up here. Okay, so I'm gonna paint around the umbrella. And now it's gonna remove that part of the umbrella. Okay, so it didn't do a great job. Not bad, but then I could paint over here see what we can do here okay so that's looking pretty good i got a nice stick coming out of her so let's get rid of that let me just paint over this stick right here and see if that can go away yeah and that goes away and then i can paint around the umbrella handle and that goes away okay so that's pretty cool let me go ahead and reset everything and i'm going to show you a little tip that'll really help you and i'm going to work with combining the object selection tool with this and this is pretty cool so to do this, what we want to do is uncheck this so it doesn't automatically remove after each stroke. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the object selection tool. It's in the rectangle mode. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle around this umbrella here. Let's see if it gets the whole thing. Now it doesn't get the handle 
or the stick. Let me go ahead and hold my shift key down. I'm calling it a stick. Somebody out there is going to say, Dave, that's not a stick. What the heck are you saying? <laughs> okay, but I'm calling it a stick. Forgive me for that. I'm going to lasso around the handle right here, just this area right here, and it does a really nice job. Now, right now it's a really tight selection, and if I go ahead, and let's go ahead and do it. Uh, first off, let me go back, and this is important. You need to go back to the removal tool. Don't forget you can just type J for that. And now I can go ahead and just paint over this area like so. And now we have to click on the check or type enter or return and let's see what kind of a job it does here. So it takes a little bit of time because like I said, I'm pretty sure it's doing this, doing this in the creative cloud. Okay, let me do a command D to deselect. And there's a little bit of artifacting up in here. Okay, so I wanted to do it this way first because now I'm going to show you the right way of doing it. So let me undo this. Now I still have my selection. So let's come up here to select. So click on select in Photoshop's menu and come down and you're going to find modify and you're going to find expand. So click on expand and we're going to expand it 10 pixels. You can type any amount in here you want or you can hover here and change it. So I'm just going to type a 10 in here and click OK. So now it's expanded that 10 pixels. And now I'm going to go ahead and paint over this again using the removal tool. And let's click on the check here and see if it does a better job. And now check that out. Let me do a command D or control D. And as you can see, it's done a really good job removing the handle, the umbrella, and the stick. It's not a stick. It's probably a shaft, right? Oh, well, forgive me for that. Anyway, so it's done a really great job. So that expansion with the object selection tool really helps it, I think, to really understand what it has to remove. And now that this is unchecked, let me go ahead and grab this bell of hay again, or these two bells of hay. Let's just paint around here. I don't think I need to use the object selection tool here. Let me get rid of this funky looking grassy stuff in here and maybe over in here like that. And now click on the check or type enter or return and all those things can go away at once. Give it a sec and there it is. Now, here's another thing you can do if you have like, say, like power lines, and I just happen to have a power line image here. Now, right now you can see again, I do not have remove after each stroke checked on. So what I can do is, I also want to point out this is a brush. So if you hold your control and option key down at the same time, you can drag to the right or to the left and make this larger or smaller. So I'm going to make it about this size. If I click here one time, hold my shift key down and come down here, click once. Okay, see how it just grabs that whole line? I can come here, click one time, hold my shift key down here, and I'll click again. And now let's click on the check and see if it can remove those power lines. And just like that, the power lines are removed, and it does a really good job. And so remember that tip as well. You have to have this unchecked, and then you could click, hold your shift key down and draw a straight line. So that's important and that can come in very handy for power lines and for other reasons as well. Now I have one last example and that's these balloons. What I want to do is get rid of this balloon, this balloon and this balloon all at one time. So I do not have checked on remove after each stroke. It's not checked on, but don't skip ahead because you're going to see a problem here and I'm going to show you how to get around it. So I'm going to go ahead and paint over this balloon, paint over these balloons like so. And I'll paint over this balloon and see what it does if I try to get rid of these all at once. I'll stop the video and let you know how long it took to remove these objects. Well, it took my computer about 30 seconds. And look, it's messed up. It put a different balloon here, which wasn't even there before. Okay, so let me go ahead and undo this. I'm going to use my TK8 combo panel and I'll just step back. And now we can see the balloons are back. So here's what I'm going to recommend that you do. And this works out really nice. Again, I'm going to grab that object selection tool. I'm still in the rectangle mode. So I'm going to select this balloon and then hold your shift key down to add to the selection. We'll select these two balloons. Hold your shift key down. Just keep holding it down actually and select this balloon. Now all of the balloons are selected except these two. So now we're going to expand that selection. So I'm going to use my TK8 plugin for Photoshop and click this button right here. Or again, you could come up here to select and come down to modify and click expand. But this is so much quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here. And I have that 20 pixels on. So I'm going to click OK. And I think 20 pixels would be good. 
And now let's go back and you have to go and click on the remove tool again. Let's make it pretty big and I can just paint over these selections. Okay. Just like so. And now we'll click on the check and we'll let it run and see if it does a better job. And now we're back. Now you can still see my selection. So I'll do a command or control D to get rid of the selections. But I can tell you it processed it a lot faster. It took it about 15 seconds to do the job. So it seemed to speed up. So it seems to like the object selection tool because it really helps it, I think, to determine what area I really want to remove. But that's done a great job in getting rid of those balloons. Now also bear in mind that this tool is in beta, so they are working on it. So I'm sure it's gonna get better and better, but so far it's doing a great job and that object selection tool really helps it out. So let me grab my object selection tool again, and I'm gonna remove this and this. And I also found it helps if I try to remove these both at once, it won't do as good of a job. So let me grab this area right here. I don't, I don't know what this is, but let's remove it. Okay, so it's selected that. And I think it's done a really good selection right there. So let's go ahead and expand it again. So I'm going to expand it. Let's try the 20 pixels and click OK. And now I have to go back to the Remove tool, remember, and then I have to just paint in this area and click on the check or type Enter or Return and see what it does. And I'm back. It took about 20 seconds, but it looks pretty good. I still have my selection. I'll do a Command or Control D. And yeah, look at that. It's done a great job. And it's kind of like copied some of this area up in here, but I think that looks okay. You know, I could remove that if I wanted to. In fact, let me go ahead and grab that tool again, the remove tool, make my brush smaller. I'm just using my left bracket key this time. And I'm just gonna paint right over here and click the accept and see what it does. Okay, so there you go. So you can do multiple passes if you need to. Let me grab my object selection tool again, and let's lasso around this area and see if I can get rid of this. Again, I'm gonna expand it uh, 20 pixels, click OK, and grab my remove tool and make it larger. And I'll just paint over this entire area and we'll see what kind of a job it does. It may be great, it may be adequate, but we might have to do some touch up, but let's see. So let me click on the check to accept this and I'll get back to you. And I am back, and you can see I still have my selection. So you can see this is the area. It's done a decent job, there's some issues. Let me do a Command or Control D to deselect this. Let me go ahead and grab the Remove tool and work on this area. There's a few little lines in here. I'm gonna see if I can get rid of those. Let me go ahead and click on the check and see what it does here. I'll let this run in real time. So you can see, okay, it's done a pretty good job right here. I'm gonna get rid of that too. What I should do is check this back on so I don't have to keep doing this. Okay, so let me check this back on. Okay, so I, you can see I got three grasses here. So I'll get rid of that grass, paint over this one, paint over this one, and it removes it immediately, okay? And so that looks pretty good. So here's a little area here. It's like a repeating pattern. Here's a repeating pattern. And so sometimes you might have to do a little bit of touch up and you know what? I think that looks really good. I think I'll get rid of this grass right in here, up into here and see what it does. And yeah, little repeating pattern here. So sometimes just like the spot healing tool, sometimes you have to hit things a couple different times. But I think it's pretty remarkable the job that it has done. So I hope you give it a try, but let me show you how to get Photoshop beta if you don't have it already. Now, all you need to do is have the photography plan, the Adobe photography plan, where you get Lightroom and Photoshop. So if you have that, all you need to do is click on your Creative Cloud icon. Now, I'm on a Mac, so mine's up here in the menu. Depending on PCs, I'm not sure, but you'll know where your Creative Cloud is. So click on Creative Cloud, and right now I'm on all apps, and you can see the apps I have installed right here. But what you're going to do is come down to categories and you see right here where it says beta apps. Click on that and it's you're going to see Photoshop beta in here and it's probably going to say try. I've already installed it so mine says open but I believe you'll just click on try and then it'll go ahead and download it and then it will let you know just like for Photoshop when there's new updates out it'll let you know do you want to get the latest update. Okay, so make sure you get the latest update. If you don't have the latest update, you may not have 
the remove tool. So go ahead and update it. If you have Photoshop beta, but you haven't updated in a while, go ahead and get the latest update. I'm going to go ahead and click on the X to get out of the Creative Cloud. Now, I put my Photoshop beta down in my dock for easy access. Well, there it is, the new remove tool found in Photoshop beta. If you don't yet have Photoshop beta, maybe you want to go ahead and give it a download and try out this new tool. I'm sure it'll be coming to Photoshop in the near future. Hey, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing!